Hi, my name is Becky Brumpton and I'm one of the deputy sisters based on the SEAL unit at Arrow Park Hospital. My job is to ensure there is a smooth transition from home to hospital for any person attending with any form of additional needs. When you drive into the hospital, keep in the left hand lane and ensure you drive to the left of the main hospital building. You will then drive past the ambulance bay situated on the right hand side and the two grey buildings to the left hand side. You have now entered the one way system that will direct you to the rear of the hospital. As you approach the SEAL unit at the rear of the hospital, you will notice there are a number of allotted parking spaces on the right hand side. If you have any mobility issues, there is also parking available in the lay-by adjacent to the SEAL unit entrance. If you would like us to secure lay-by parking, please let us know when we contact you prior to your hospital admission. In reception, you will be greeted by one of our clerks. One of the team will guide you and your parents or carers into the main SEAL unit. The SEAL unit consists of a female waiting lounge, a male waiting lounge, a chaired area, the sensory suite and treatment rooms. The lounges are a lovely open space with a variety of comfy chairs. The chairs are where you will wait, either by yourself or with your parents or carers. In the lounge, there are two rooms where you may be asked to get changed from your own clothes into a theatre gown and theatre stockings. You will be asked to put your own clothing into a carrier bag which is provided by the hospital. You are welcome to put your own footwear on along with your dressing gown. The lounge has a television to keep you entertained, but you are welcome to bring an electronic device or something of comfort with you which will keep you occupied throughout your stay on the SEAL unit. The hospital are able to provide Wi-Fi. A member of the team will assist you with access on the day. The chaired area is just outside the lounges. If you are not receiving a general anaesthetic, you are welcome to wait in this area with your parents or carers. Once you've been seen by your surgical team and nursing staff, you are welcome to continue to eat and drink within this area. The sensory suite is a separate area that is just off the main corridor in the SEAL unit. The sensory suite has a bubble feature with a padded corner plinth and an interactive colour infinity panel that changes colour at the press of a button. We have a large projector that is able to display a variety of entertainment channels to your taste. Let us know what you would like to watch during your stay and we'll do our best to accommodate. The room also contains a lovely galaxy projector that shines different colours onto the ceiling. There is a large orange bean bag that you may find relaxing to lie on whilst you wait for your operation. The sensory suite has a separate toilet and hand washing facilities. This means that you do not have to leave until you are ready to go down to theatre. When you see the nurse, they will check your details. The nurse will ask a number of questions, including your medical and current drug history. The nurse will place a white identification band on your wrist. The doctor may ask the nurse to put some white cream and a plaster onto the back of your hands. This is to help numb the area before you go to theatre. When you see the nurse, we will do your blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature and oxygen levels. This is all done using a machine. The blood pressure cuff will be placed on the upper part of your arm and then go tight. The nurse will put a white clip on one of your fingers. This will take your heart rate and oxygen levels. The nurse will also put a temperature probe under your tongue to record your temperature. After you have seen the nurse, anaesthetist and surgical team, you will wait in your designated area. When it is your time to go to theatre, a member of the team wearing blue scrubs will come to get you and your parents or carers. You can either walk to theatre or be taken down by the theatre staff and nurse on a trolley. You will leave the SEAL unit through two sets of doors. This is when you will enter the theatre complex, which has 11 theatres in total. In the anaesthetic room, you will be greeted by the anaesthetist, operating department practitioner, 
clinical support worker and a member of the surgical team. The clinical support worker will put the blood pressure cuff on your arm, the heart rate and oxygen monitor on your finger and some monitoring stickers on your chest. The team in the anaesthetic room will check your wristband again to make sure all of the information matches. They will check the consent form with either yourself or your parents or carers. If you require a cannula to be inserted, the clinical support worker will take your hand and apply some pressure. This is followed by the anaesthetist removing the plaster and cream from your hand and carefully inserting the cannula. The anaesthetist will ask you to place the oxygen mask over your nose and mouth and you will breathe in and out normally. Your parents, relatives or carers will always be with you until you drift off to sleep. When you feel well enough and have recovered from the anaesthetic, the theatre recovery team will help you get dressed back into your normal clothing and assist you back onto the theatre trolley or into a wheelchair ready to be taken back to the SEAL unit. There are two different places you may go to when you go back to the SEAL unit. You may either go back into the Century Suite or our Phase 3 discharge area. The Phase 3 discharge area is a lovely, well-lit, calm environment with nine blue electronic recliner chairs. You will be greeted by the nursing team where they will do your blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature and oxygen levels. They will provide you with a drink of your choice and something to eat. Once you have met the criteria for discharge, the nurse will take out your cannula and get you ready for home. You will be given a letter to take home with you. This will outline what has happened during your hospital stay and provide you with some clear advice following your discharge. It will also provide you with contact numbers if you need any nursing advice in the days after your discharge. The discharging nurse will give you any medication that you were required to take in the coming days after your discharge. We hope this video has been useful and we look forward to welcoming you to the SEAL unit.